Hello, it's Sarah Jane at Cards and a Cuppa and I'm here today to share a partial die cutting tutorial with you using Butterfly Basic stamp set and Butterfly's Thin Lits dies. And you end up with this pretty card. Right, so to start with you need a Wisteria Wonder card base and Whisper White card. Um, 10 centimetres by 14.3 centimetres. I've got a uh, crisp cantaloupe ink and my stampamajig to line up where the butterflies go. Let's start to use your stampamajig, you're going to line up the acetate sheet with the handle so that it's locked into the corner. Ink up your stamp, lock it into the corner, slide it down and then slide it back up. And that will give you your image onto the sheet. Now, line up where you want your image on your card. Remember when you do this that you don't want the butterfly to overhang this part, otherwise it's not going to fit through your die cutting machine with your die. Line the handle up with your imaging sheet. Remove the imaging sheet, lock, slide down and slide back up again and there's your image. Now your next butterfly, you do exactly the same. What you're aiming for is three butterflies oh, stamped above this three centimetre pencil line with at least part of the wings above it so that you get that die cut image. Line it up, ink, stamp. Right. Now, bring in your big shot and I've got my magnetic plate on here. And what you're going to need is qu quite a new um, cutting plate because you don't want one that's that's folding or warped. So mine's a mine's almost new. I have used post-it note on the roll to secure my plate to my magnetic pad, my ma magnetic plate. Um, you could use washi tape or masking tape, decorator's masking tape. Now, this three centimetre line, you need to line up with the very edge of your cutting plate. And this is where the, the tape comes in a bit handy because then you, you avoid the, any slipping as, you, as you're putting your card through. So, just secure it with a little bit more tape and then add your die around your first butterfly. Make sure that your gaps are even and even though it's a magnetic plate I'll still stick a little bit more tape on the top just to make sure it doesn't slip. Pop your cutting plate on the top, doesn't matter about this one, and pop it through. Anything past this line will not get cut because it's hanging over the edge of the, the platform. Now to do your second one, slide your die underneath the edge of your first cut and then line it up with your second butterfly. This way you're not going to get, you're not going to accidentally cut the tip of the other butterfly off and because the, the die cut is actually on the inside edge of this die, it works perfectly. Right. Slide that through and there's your second one. Now line up your third, doing the same again, tucking it in under the edge. Move your tape so you can see where you're lining it up. 
make sure it's even. Pop the tape down. And run it through. Remove your card. Doesn't matter if this rips because this is waste anyway. Right now, you're going to need a craft knife and a metal ruler. And all you're going to do is, although I have this line where the three centimeters is, it has die cut maybe a millimeter or two above it. So all I'm going to do is line up where it's cut to and just trim away in between the butterflies Be careful not to trim in the wrong place oh and the end there don't forget the end Grab your paper snips and cut any bits that are still stuck. Okay. Just so that you avoid tearing any of the pieces of paper. rub away the pencil line at this point and there you have a perfect row of die cut butterflies now I've got this uh, Melon Mambo cotton ribbon roll the ribbon to the right always leave your ribbon on the roll left over right and pull down twist the this piece the opposite way so it's facing up loop up with the bottom keep your finger on the knot try and keep your ribbon as flat as possible don't twist it go over and up where your finger is and pull it flat that is what you're aiming for something dead flat like that and then when you pull it tight in the middle, then you end up with a perfect bow. Ish. So I'm leaving mine with the tail up top, but all you do is pull that tail down if you want it in a traditional bow shape. That then is all the waste you've got because this side is on the roll. Doesn't matter where you tie your bow on your card because you can always slide it round. Make sure when you're pulling tight that you pull with your fingers in the loops rather than pinching the loops, which will crease it and make it flat. Right now, I've got my Melon Mambo blendability. I'm just going to colour in. Two medium size rhinestones and two small ones. These ones on a strip are the same size as the small ones. All you have to do is um, cut between them to break the glue line. Leave them to just dry just for a minute and then you're going to take your dimensionals, which I've lost. No, here they are and add some to the back. I like plenty because I don't like the thought of it sagging once it's been in an envelope 
So let's add and then these little butterflies you need them to be supported too. So let's add one in each wing. Right. Maybe one more there. That's fine. Remove the backing of these. These little things go everywhere, don't they? On every carpet, every pair of socks we've got. There's always bits of dimensional backing. This white layer to your card base. This is um, ten and a half by fourteen point eight, which is half A4. I cut my card the long way down the A4, and then pop a few rhinestones on just to finish decorating. And there you have your partial die cut card using the Butterfly Basics and Butterfly thin, thin Lits dies. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Thank you.